I'm Dr. Tony Khoury. I'm the head of uh, pediatric urology at uh, Chalk Children's and uh, a professor of urology at the University of California in Irvine. Uh, we are going to uh, address the topic of spina bifida and uh, its urological manifestations, namely uh, neurogenic bladder. Neurogenic bladder is a, uh, a condition that is due to disruption or damage to the nerves from the lower spinal cord that innervate the bladder and the muscles of uh, the uh, pelvic floor. So children with neurogenic bladder have a variety of problems. They have incontinence, they have high pressures, and as a result can have damage to their kidneys from those high pressures and also recurrent urinary tract infections which complicates the damage to the kidneys and accelerates it. We believe uh, at Chalk Children's that the best approach to preventing damage in children with neurogenic bladder is to manage them preemptively. By that I mean we don't wait until we see signs of high pressure and dilatation of the kidneys and the ureters and damage to the bladder before we intervene. We assume that every child with a neurogenic bladder is going to develop high pressures and we treat and use preventative measures to prevent that high pressure from happening and thus protect the kidneys and the bladder. And it's a long-term investment because if we protect the bladder when the child is an infant or a toddler, when that child becomes an adult, we'll have a much, much better bladder to work with. And as technology evolves and bladder pacemakers evolve, I believe that we will be able to have better bladder function if we maintain a normal bladder and if we have the families and our specialists work together towards maintaining the health of that bladder.